Sariu na besne utoši to duku isne, su se se zama pomijajuš kada to prešit, ja pa dati u predes vlesa, do vsake skratnih se posebila hitrihej duše naši. Glory to God on the highest on an earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God on the highest on an earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, open up my lips and my mouth shall support their praise. Bože, oče se me rišo pomilim ene, i Bože, oče se me rišo pomilim ene, i Bože, oče se me rišo pomilim ene. Prostit mani, forgive me. Святого Духа нині по всяк час і на віки віків. Амінь. В мері, Господа, ви помодімо. Господи, помігімо. За мери з неба спаси на душі наші, Господа, ви помодімо. Господи, помігімо. За меру со освіта, за добре санцу, за Божа секва, за західне зі, Господа, ви помодімо. Господи, за святий храм, за святий жабір і по Боже, за сраком Божого та до нього, Господа, ви помодімо. Господи, помірі, Бог. За владеку нашого високо пришищеннішого митрополита Аларіона, за честі пресвіту, сорисе діаконство, за все причесі людей, Господа, ви помодімо. Господи, помірі, Бог. За бом, любим, бом, бережи край наш Канаду, за уля високе, за все побожне народу наш, Господа, ви помонімо. Господи, помилуй. За місто наше, Камлупсі, за всяке місто, селі Україну, за те, що повічав у кне, Господа, ви помонімо. Господи, помилуй. За добрий політер, за ворожай подземний, за чесе мері, Господа, ви помонімо. Господи, помилуй. За подорожі на води на землі, по вітри, за надушні на можні та половолене за спасіння їх, Господи, ви помодімо. Господи, помилуй. Що ви зволи віра без своїх перестеть, я уяву її свої сі в метві жителі в Україні, від усякого скоропоту не ву, веде і веду всі вороги, веде ми і не веде ми, і в часі веде, та що зоровим і доголіцям із миром завжди її одарував молитвами причесу і Богородиці. Господу помонімо. Господи помінуй. Що ви зволитися від усякого скорботи нову на беси паки, 
Tale doli hospodovi pomodimo. Zasto pespa se pomeo hor nas pored tvojeju blagodatju. Presvetu je prečesu pravoslavenu su vnil vladešu našu borodu su presvetivu Mariju. Zosim si te pomnonoše sami sebe donotnoho. Zdajši te naš hresu bohovi vidamo. O Lord, I got your powers in this cry for glory, glory is incomprehensible in mercy. His boundless your love for mankind is ineffable according to your tender, compassionate master. Look down on us on, the, on this holy temple and grant us and those who pray with us your abundant mercies and compassion. Boto be na laža do vsjaka slava, česti poklonjenja od svi sjeno i svjedomu dukovi i ne ni posjak čas ni na viki viki. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ our God. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, and forsake us not to put our po hope in you. For yours the majesty, and yours the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Sons of men in 
Čehajšťa, Marie, hospodovi, pomodni mu. Hospodi, pomíluj. Zástup, ty spasie, pomíl hora nás podľa tvojej blahodáťu. Hospodi, pomíluj. Prejste to je prečesu, prvásovaným súdnym vladešu nášu bohorodu, sú presudí v Mariu. Zosím si te pomnonúše sami sebe do nádnoho, Sači te naš hresu bohovi vidamo. You who have given us these common single heart of prayers, grant the promise of grant the request of two through three, who agree in your name, fulfill all the petitions of our servants for their benefit, granting us in this world knowledge and your truth in the world to come life everlasting. Po te blahe človeko ljubec boj, je se tobi slavu ocelajmo od si u isenu, je se tomo duhu vi ne ni posjak čas i na veke veke. Master, Lord, our God, you have established in the heavens hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that with this entrance it may also be an entrance of holy angels serving and glorifying your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the entrance of your saints, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. wisdom, let us stand arise. Let us come worship and bow down before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Holy God, of rest Where the stone, stone had been sealed by the Jews, and the soldiers were guarding your most pure you arose on the third day, O Savior, granting life to the world. Therefore the powers of heaven cried out to you, O giver of life. Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Glory to your kingdom. Glory to your providence, O only lover of mankind. We venerate your most pure image, O good one, asking your forgiveness of our transgressions, O Christ God. In your good will, it please you to be ascend the cross in the flesh. To deliver from enslavement the enemy whom you had fashioned. Therefore we cry unto you in thanksgiving. 
thanksgiving, you have filled all things with joy, O Savior, for you have come to save the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The uncircumscribed word of the Father became circumscribed, taking flesh from you, O Theotokos. Faith he has restored the tarnished image to its ancient glory, filling it with divine beauty. We confess this our salvation in word and deed. Hospodovi pomonimo. Hospodi pomimo. Бой ти, святи, се Боже наш, и тоби славу осылай му отцу и сену и святому духови, и нени по всяк час и на веки веки. Brethren, by faith Moses, when he came of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, he looked to the reward. And what more shall I say, for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and other prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens, 
Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Others still had a trial of cruel, mocking discouragings, and chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were tempted, they were slain by the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented by a world who was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth, and all these, having obtained a good report through faith, did not receive the promise. God, having provided something better for us, that apart from us they should not be made perfect, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Peace be to you, O reader. And to your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom. Alleluia in the foretone, Alleluia. 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 Moses and Aaron are among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. Alleluia. Make the pure light of your divine knowledge shine in our hearts, O Master, lover of mankind, and open the eyes of our mind that we may understand the teachings of our gospel. Instill in us also the fear of your blessed commandments, so that overcoming our cardinal desires, we may, pursue, may pursue a spiritual life, both thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ, God, the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory, together with your Father's everlasting, your all-holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Premodris tain no pobožno, vyslúchaj se tvoj evangeliu, miru si. Vyli vana se tvoj evangelia čitania. Уважені наступного дня заходи від піти з Галилеїв і знайшов він Пилипа та й каже йому, іде за мною, а Пилип із Виса їде, походив із міста Андрея і Петра, Пилипа Нафа, Наїла заходить та і каже йому, ми знайшли того, що про нього писав був моє у закони пророків Ісуса Сину Йосипового із Назарету. І сказав йому Нафанаї, та хріб, що може бути, це Назарету, 
що добре, Велипе йому каже, Приди та побач, Ісус ухледе вив на фанагіла, що до нього іде, говорить про нього, ото справдивий Ізраїтянин, що не має під ним підуступив, говорить йому на фанагі, Веде, знайшли мене. Ісус відповів і до нього сказав, Я бачив тебе, це да винеш. Ніж Пилипи тебе кликав, Як від фиховим деревом був ти. Відповідь йому на фаналі, Учителю, ти син Божий, Ти цар Ізраїли, Ізраїли. Ісус відповідь і до нього сказав, Через те вийшли те, що сказав я до тобі, Що під фігори, Вим деревом бачив тебе, більше від нього побачиш. І він сказав йому, по правді, по правді кажу вам, ви тепер ви побачите небо відкрите та анголі Божі. Що на людського сина під маються та спускаються. At that time, Jesus decided to do, go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of David. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to Jesus, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, <coughs> Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, you do believe. You shall see greater things than these. And Jesus said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will ha see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Slava Isus Christu, glory be to Jesus Christ. Today on this, the first Sunday of Great Lent, 
we hear this, the gospel of the calling of the holy apostles Philip and Nathaniel. And we hear how Christ, upon seeing Nathaniel coming, he says this is a, a very wise man, basically, a, 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 good, a good person, a good Israelite. And this discussion begins of, well, how do you know me? How do you know who I am and what I've, what I've done in my life? And Christ says, I saw you under the fig tree. One of the key things to, to make note of in this response that Christ makes to Nathaniel for us to reflect on is that he knows everything. God, as we know, knows what is happening in our heart, what is happening, what we're thinking, what we've done. And even though we have choice, he knows what we're going to do. And yet, he loves us even in the times that we struggle the most, when we feel that he's not there, helping us, supporting us. As we go through Great Lent, this is the reminder that God knows we're struggling. He knows what might be happening in our lives. But he also knows that when we draw ourselves closer to him, that things become or can become easier. That we begin to realize and see the path that he's cleared for us. The path that will lead us to a, a God, Christ-centered life of where we will be blessed. Too often, we try to do things on our own. We try to make changes because we might disagree with something, or we might be wanting something to happen a certain way. And Nathaniel may have very well been struggling with that. Because that moment that Christ says, I saw you under the fig tree, was a bit of a realization that some of the fathers speculate that Nathaniel knew God was struggling. Nathaniel knew God was aware of his struggle, of the difficult moment that he was in at that time. He wants us to be with him. And today, on this first Sunday, we have one of the most beautiful triumphs for the Orthodox world. And this is one of these, these events, these times, that it reminds us, allows us to, every day, the events we celebrate today, these events remind us every day of what was, we were blessed with. The blessing of the defeat of the iconoclasts those who wanted to remove these beautiful images from our holy churches. Even though Christ himself made the first icon with the cleaning of his face and sending it to the prince. And the holy apostle Luke writing the icon of the most holy Theotokos. These images were thought to be improper because of the teachings within Judaism that Christ had fulfilled, because of the slowly increasing numbers of the sultans of the Islamic practice that was creeping into Byzantium at the time. 
And it was thought to remove these icons, these reminders of what we strive to participate in. As Christ concludes at the Gospel, he mentions about angels ascending and descending. Well, these saints that we see around us on these icons are reminders for us of those angels that have ascended, those earthly angels, the saints, that have struggled, faced martyrdom, persecution, taught in the church, found the holy and life-giving cross, established a safe estate for the church to grow. They show us that we today are, of course, the church militant. They were the church militant at one time. We are fighting to keep the faith that is true. But they remind us that there is glory. There's peace and love for us as we grow in our faith and choose to be one with Christ. So dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this triumph over orthodoxy, let us realize that these saints have cleared the way for us. They have pre- cleared the way so we can find our way to Christ, so we can find that path that He has laid before us, so that we may be able to follow Him like Philip and Nathaniel when called. Because brothers and sisters, we have been called. Let us hear the call and follow our Heavenly Father, wherever He takes us, all the way to His crucifixion and His resurrection on Holy and Great Pascha. Let us remember this name of the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say. Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. <coughs> Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for his eminence, our metropolitan, Aledion. For our brethren, the presbyters, priests, bones, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God, loving and God, protected country, Canada, his people, government, armed forces, that the Lord God will help and aid them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever member Orthodox patriarchs, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all Orthodox Christians, depart of this life before us who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation, and the forgiveness and remission of sins for the servants of God, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray unto you, O Lord our God, hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy upon your servants. The priest of us, the priest George, the Brigadier Diana, the Brigadier Catherine, Anna Cecilia, Ron, Valerie, Steve, Joanne, Sula, Danica, Elsie, Claudia, Vasil, and protect them from all affliction, evil, wrath, danger, and necessity, from spiritual and physical illness, and grant them health and long life. We beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray unto you, O Lord our God, that you'll grant unto your servants the priests Oleg, Ollie, Daryl, Allen, <coughs> Sophia, Nicol- Nikolai, healing from their illness and from every re- malady, raise him from their beds, give the health and soul and body. We beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Again, we pray to the Lord our God that he will hearken unto the voice of the prayer of our sinners and protect all Ukrainian people in difficult trials in time of war for li their liberation and mercy on his servants, all Ukrainian armed forces, personnel defending Ukraine from occupation, and that our merciful Lord will shield them from fatal wounds, from all spiritual and physical illness, and that he will protect them from all affliction, wrath, anger, and sorrow in time of war, and that he will grant them to return from war in good health, un uninjured and blessed, and this through the prayers of the holy archangel Michael, all merciful Lord, Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kanya visotis yatois oselu toyei, hospode bojanash, iblaheta milosevi, polyeshe tuhu nedolu, horeta skoro bote lude toyexi, ukraine, sushe. O chase vede os blevo vege netil dete ne mete istra strache ya ve slu selu tvoju prede izateste yek usi shobe u chas vede ne sradil vorohel nashe ho neble Nashu bache molemos to be se melos tevi hospode mil nenyam prechesui mladeci naše bohorodeci vesukaj i pomiluj. Hospodi pomiluj, hospodi pomiluj, hospodi pomiluj. O Lord Jesus, a merciful one, our Savior, look upon our people and in Ukraine, in time of war, whose sons and daughters are refugees, deprived of human shelter, wander about the earth, fleeing from horrors of war and death, manifest your mercy before us, sinners, and grant shelter to all Ukrainian refugees, and bless all those who offer them shelter and aid through the prayers of the Holy Hierarch, Nicholas the Wonder Worker. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to you, O Lord our God, hear the us in our great need and our thirst for your presence as you have said the harvest is indeed great but the labors are few and we pray that you will open the hearts of many to a desire to bring in the harvest dedicated holy priests deacons and monastics who in following your example <coughs> will serve your people and satisfy their spiritual needs hear us O lord and have mercy Again, we pray, O Lord, embrace our young people and give them the courage required to overcome all obstacles in life, all temptations, which might plunge them into spiritual darkness. Give to their parents the first teachers of faith, morality, and piety, the courage to be a guiding light in their lives. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy, all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who are present who wage your great an abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Mercy comes from you. For you are merciful, God, and lover of mankind, and you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Catechumens pray to the pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray that for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord have mercy. That he will unite them with the word of truth. Lord have mercy. That he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. That he unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord have mercy. Help them, save them, have mercy on them, and protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Catechumens, bow your heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. O Lord our God, who dwells in, in the heavens and regards all your works, behold your servants, the catechumens, who have bent their necks before you, and grant them a light yoke, make them an honorable members of your holy church, deeming them worthy of the bath of regeneration for the forgiveness of sins of the rope of incorruption, so that they may be may come to know you our true God. That with us they may also glorify your most honorable majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. 
Sio noše videt, oho noše videt, šoni to zelo loše ne zaleso tekli vedne še i še meri gospodovi, pomonimo. Gospodi, pomiluj. Zastupi, spasi, pomiluj, hora nas pored Tvojeju, blahodatju. Gospodi, pomiluj. Primudriz. You, o Lord, have shown us these great, this great mystery of salvation. You have counted us your humble and unworthy servants worthy to be ministers of your holy altar through the power of your Holy Spirit. Make us worthy for this service so that standing without condemnation before your holy altar, before your holy glory, we may offer you a sacrifice of praise for you are the one who accomplishes all things and everyone. Grant, O Lord, that our sacrifice for our own sins and for the failings of the people may be acceptable and well-pleasing to you. Усяка слава честни поклонини от Сио и Сена и Судомо Духови и нени по всяк час и на веки веки. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Wisdom, O God, who in mercy and compassion has visited our lowliness who has set us, your humble and, un humble and sinful and unworthy servants, to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory. By the power of your Holy Spirit, to strengthen us with this service and, stand and grant speech to our lips so that we may call down the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered. That ever guarded by your might may send up glory unto you, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age of... Amen. No one who is bound with the desires of pleasure and flesh is worthy to approach or draw near to serve you, King of glory, for your minister to you is great and awesome, awesome even to heaven powers, nevertheless you speak of and self mankind, to you become man, yet without change and alteration, rule over all, to become our high priest, to commit to his minister, ministry and liturgical and the sacrifice. For you alone, O Lord, God, rule those in heaven and earth who are born of the throne of the terrible, who are Lord of the servant, who are King of Israel, who alone are resting and saints, therefore I entreat you, O Lord, our good and ready to listen, look down on me, your sinful and proud servant, and my soul, my heart, and your conscience by the power of the Holy Spirit. Enable me down with the grace of the priest who stand before this holy table from the sacred mystery of the holy pure body first blood. Pray, draw near to you, bow mecca for you, do me for me, face me yet for me, nor cast me off from the moment shall but make me your sinful and worthy servants, worthy you offer the gifts. The offer, the offer receives you, send up glory together. From the Father everlasting, you're all holy, good life in the spirit, now and ever into the age of the ages. Amen. Let us basically represent the chairman saying, Thrice of Black Rain Trinity, let us set us on our of life and see if they come visibly upon Brother John Cross. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us basically represent the chairman who's singing Thrice of Black Rain Trinity, let us set us on our cares of life. Let us see the King of all come visibly upon Brother John Cross. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us basically represent the chairman who's singing Thrice of Black Rain Trinity, let us set us on our cares of life. Let us see the King of all come visibly upon Brother John Cross. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. O 
Oh God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy. Oh God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy. Oh God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy. On me. Lift up your arms to the high praise, place and praise the Lord. His Majesty, our King Charles III, the Royal House, his armed forces, our God beloved and God protected country, Canada, its government armed forces and his people, our ancestral homeland, Ukraine, and all her people in the homeland and throughout the world. May the God remember his kingdom always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember his kingdom always, now and ever, unto the ages. Of each And noble Joseph took down your most fair body from the tree, wrapped it in clean shroud of aromatic spices, and laid it in a new tomb. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built that won't be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, whole burnt offerings, and the wall for bullocks upon your altar. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord, have mercy. An angel of peace, a faith, a guiding, guarding of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant Forgiveness, remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All that is good and beneficial for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian, enter our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, good defense before the judge, judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves one another in all our life unto Christ, our God. O oh Lord, a God who has created us and brought us into this life, who has shown us the, the, always, the ways to salvation and bestowed on us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. You are the one who has appointed us to this service in the power of your Holy Spirit. Therefore, O oh Lord, enable us to be ministers of your New Testament and servants of your holy mysteries. Through the greatness of your mercy, accept us as we draw near to your holy altar so that we may be worthy to offer you this reasonable and bloodless sacrifices for our sins and for the errors of your people, having received it upon your holy, heavenly, and ideal altar as a sweet, sweet spiritual fragrance set down upon us in return the grace of your Holy Spirit. Look down on us, O God, and behold this our service. Receive it as you receive the gifts of Abel, the sacrifice of Noah, the whole burnt offerings of Abraham, 
the priestly offerings of Moses and, and Aaron, and the peace offerings of Samuel, even as you did receive from your holy apostles the true worship. So now, in your goodness, accept these gifts from the hands of, of us sinners, O Lord, that having been accounted worthy to serve without offense at your, ho at your holy altar, we may receive the reward of wise and faithful stewards on the awesome day of just retribution. Through the compassions of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Amen. peace be unto all. Amen. Let us love one another, though with one mind we may confess. The very, the very primordial state void more vash, neither doors, the doors of wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, our Son of God. Jedinho и розпятый был за нас, полите пелати, страждав и Бог покованный. Воскрес на третий день, як пуно написано. Восниса на небо, небо и сиди праворучуця. И снова придете слове, что здесь жертвы, мертвы, царство, его не будет кинца. И дука святого Господа, животворчо, что вы до ця похода, что ему отцем, сыну и наклин поклонина, наква слава, что говорил через пророков. Я дану сату свободну апостолу церкву, висна одну грешну на випущі арихів, чекай воскресіння від мертві і життя будучого віку. Амінь. Станьмо побожно, станьмо зі страху, і будьмо уважені, щоб ми розвіту світу живот приносити. Oh, 
Lua rodate hospoda naši susere sa i lubovo bo otja prečasu sjeto duka nekaj bude. So zima vame the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Do nebo pinocimo sertia let us lift up our hearts. O Diakuimo Hospodavi, let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. O existing one Master, Lord God, Father Almighty and worthy of adoration, it is truly proper, right, and befitting the magnificence of your holiness so that we should praise you, chant hymns to you, bless you, worship you, give thanks to you, and glorify you, the only true existing God, the one who is the, the ma <coughs> Master, Lord God, and worship Father Almighty, and offer you with contrite hearts the humble spirits. This our spiritual worship, for you have graced us with the knowledge of your truth, and, and who can speak of your mighty acts, to chant all the praises to you, all the praises you deserve, or to proclaim all your wonders at all times. Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible creation, you sit on the throne of glory, gazing upon the abyss. You are without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, uncircumscribed, immutable, Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ. He is our great God and Savior, our hope, the image of your goodness, the seal bearing the perfect likeness, who reveals you, the Father in himself, the living word, the true God, wisdom before the ages, life, sanctification, power, and the true light, through whom the Spirit has been revealed the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of an inheritance to come, the first fruits of eternal good things, the life-creating power, the fountain of sanctification, through whom every rational and intelligent creature is enabled to worship you, sending you everlasting glorification for all things will serve you. The archangels, angels, thrones, <clears throat> dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim praise you, the seraphim surround you, each has six wings, with two they cover their faces, with two their feet, and with two they fly, calling to one another endlessly with never ceasing praises. Peace, new peremois, be vayut, be losh, you be click, or you te promo, vayut, singing the triumphant and proclaiming, crying out and saying, Sviat, 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 Gospod Zabaon, Domine, Moi, Zemia, Slavi, With these blessed powers, O Master, who loves mankind, we sinners that also cry aloud and say, Holy are you, you are truly most holy, and there are no bounds to the magnificence of your holiness. You are gracious in all your deeds, for with righteousness and true judgment you have ordered all things for us. You created man by taking dust from the earth and did honor him with your own image, O God. You did set him in a paradise of delight, promising him eternal life and enjoyment of everlasting blessings in the observance of your commandments. But when... Man disobeyed you, the true God who had created him, and was deceived by the guile of the serpent, becoming subject to death through his own transgressions. You, O God, in your righteous judgment, did send him forth from paradise into this world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him the salvation of re regeneration in your Christ himself. For you did not turn your for you did not turn yourself away forever from your creature whom you have made, O good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands. Through the tender compassions of your mercy, you did visit him in various ways. You sent prophets, you performed mighty works by your saints who in every generation are well-pleasing to you. You spoke to us by the, the mouth of your servants, the prophets, foretelling to us the salvation which was to come. You gave us the law as, as a help. You appointed the angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your son himself by whom you also made the ages, who being the radiance of your glory and the image of, of your person, upholding all things by the word of his power, though it not robbery to be equal to you, the God and Father. He was God before the ages, yet he appeared on earth and lived among men, becoming incarnate of the Holy Virgin. He emptied himself, taking 
the form of a servant, being likened to the body of your, our lowliness, that he might liken us to the image of his glory. For because through man sin entered the world and through sin death, so pleased your only begotten Son present in your bosom, the God and Father, who was born of a woman, the holy Theotokos and of a Virgin Mary, who was born under the law to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who were dead in Adam may be alive in your Christ himself. He lived in the this world and gave us commandments for salvation, releasing us from the disillusions of idolatry. He, he brought us to knowledge of, of you, the true God and Father. He obtained us for his own chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, having cleansed us in the water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as ransom to death, in which we were held captive, sold under sin, descending through the cross into Hades, that he might fill all things with himself. He loosened the pangs of death and rose on the third day, having made for us a flesh a path to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible for the author of life to be a victim of corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself truly the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to every man according to his works. And as a memorial of his saving passion, he has left us these things, which we have set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life creating death, on the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, having shown it to you, the God and Father, having given thanks, blessed, and hallowed it, and broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Uh, Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it and given thanks, blessed and hallowed it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore we also, O Master, remember this his saving passion and life-creating cross, his three-day burial, the resurrection from the, the dead, his ascension into heaven, and sit at the right hand of, the, of you, the God and Father, and his glorious and awesome second coming. We offer you on behalf of all and for all. Because of this, O oh, Holy Master, we are we also your sinful and worthy servants whom you have made worthy to minister at this holy altar, not through our own right, righteousness, for we have done nothing good upon the earth, but because of your mercies and compassions, which you have richly poured out upon us, drawn near to see to your holy altar and presenting to you the antitypes of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you, we call upon you, O oh, Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts here set forth and upon them and hallow them and show. O oh God, cleanse me, sinner, have mercy on me. Oh Lord, who at the third hour did send down most holy, holy spirit upon your apostles, do, do not take it from us, according to our news, we pray unto you. Create me, clear and how to God, and renew my spirit within me. O oh Lord, who at the third hour did send down most holy spirit upon your apostles, do not take it from us, according to our news, we pray unto you. Cast me not away from your presence, take not your Holy Spirit from me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down most Holy Spirit upon your apostles, do not take it from us a good and who pray unto you. I make this, <clears throat> this bread to be the precious body of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life of the world and salvation. Amen. Making the change by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That they may be, and unite all of 
us who partake of this one bread and cup to one another in the communion of the one Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ for judgment or condemnation. Instead, may we find mercy and grace with all the saints who through the ages have been well-pleasing to you, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, aesthetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. O sobrevo preciatu, precesio prebro silvano, slavno je vladešo našo borodosu presodivo Mariju, especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever virgin, Mary. With the Holy Prophet, Forerunner, and Baptist, John of the Holy Glorious, and all praised apostles, of the Saint Sophronius, Patriarch of Jerusalem, the Venerable Sophronius, Recruits of the Kievan Caves, the High Romarter, Phonietas of Smyrna, and those with him, Asapades, Macedonia, Linus, and Sabina, of whom we commemorate today and of all your saints at whose supplication, over, so by their prayers, look down upon us, O God. And remember all those who have fallen asleep for the hope of resurrection and eternal life. And grant them rest where light of your countenance shines. Again, we entreat you. Remember, O Lord, your holy Catholic and apostolic church, which extends from one end of the universe to the other. And give peace to her whom you have obtained with the precious blood of your Christ and establish this holy house until the end of age. Remember, O Lord, those who have offered you these gifts, those for whom and through whom they are offered and their intentions. Remember, O Lord, those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches. And those who remember the poor, reward them with your rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them heavenly things for earthly, eternal for temporal, and incorruptible things for corruptible. Remember, O Lord, those who in the deserts, in the mountains, and in the caverns, and the pits of the earth. Remember, O Lord, all those who live in, the, live in virginity, piety, in asceticism, and in the honorable way of life. Remember, O Lord, our God-beloved country, its civil authorities, and all the armed forces, grant them a secure and lasting peace. Speak good things into their hearts concerning your church and all your people, that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and quiet life in all piety and virtue. Remember, O Lord, every principality and authority, our brothers who serve in the government and armed forces, in your goodness, guard those who are good, make those who are evil good by your goodness. Remember, O Lord, the people here present and those who are absent for a good cause and have mercy on them and on us according to the abundance of your mercy. F fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and oneness of mind. Raise the infants, train the youth, in support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, gather together the scattered, lead back those who wander astray, and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits, sail with those who sail, travel those who travel by land, sea, and air, Defend the widows, protect the orphans, deliver the captives, and heal the sick. Remember, O God, those being judged, those in mines, those in exile, in harsh labor, and in every kind of tribulation, need, and distress. Remember, O Lord our God, all those who are in need of your great loving kindness, those who love us, those who hate us, and those who have asked us, the unworthy, to pray for them. And remember all your people, O Lord our God. Pour out your rich mercy on all of them. Grant them all petitions which are unto salvation, and all those who, whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or the multitude of names you yourself remember, O God. 
since you know the age and name of everyone, even from their mother's womb. For you, O Lord, are the helper of the helpless, hope of the hopeless, the savior of the storm toss, the haven of the voyagers, the physician of the sick. Be everything to everyone. You know each person and their request, their house and their need. You deliver this city of Kamloops and every city and country from famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, fire sword, foreign invasion, and civil war. Naipasha pomnya na hospital vladeko nasho besoko prishishinisho leriona archiepisko poveno pego seredo e parki metropolite kanade idara daru yevsiatim tvoim serkom jo bole vone imere bereje počasi sorove i dohovčev i pravdevo na čala slova tvojih istine. Remember, O Lord, all the Orthodox Episcopal rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, O Lord, according to the multitude of your compassions, my unworthiness, and also forgive my every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. And because of my sins, do not withhold the grace of your Holy Spirit from these gifts here set forth. Remember, O Lord, the priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and every order of clergy. Let none of us who stand about your holy altar be put to confusion. Visit us with your loving kindness, O Lord. Manifest yourself to us and through your rich compassions. Grant us seasonable and helpful weather and gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year with your, your goodness. Prevent schisms among the churches. Pacify the ragings of the pagans. Quickly destroy the uprisings of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom, showing us to be the sons of the light and sons of day. Grant us your peaceful peace and your love. O Lord our God, for you have given us, given all things to us. Dovnam yadem ustav yadem sarsam slavite uspivote precese vlecem ja tvoja otsja i sena i se to duh ne ni posjak čas i na viki viki. Nekaj budat milose veliko bo spasa naše Isuse resta z osima vami. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having received them on his holy, heavenly, and ideal altars and offering spiritual fragrance, may return sent upon his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy, and us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Dios, 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 Prosim da vi puša rikita proven na našu hospoda, prosimo. Dobro i poša to še da duše naše ta mera da svito hospoda, prosimo. Šo vreše še ta našu mera ta pokine s kjenčelame, hospoda, prosimo. Christiansko, Kinsiaši, to našo bezbolesu, bezdohadno, mjerno im doprovit, vidpovit nas, rasume sude, presovim prosimo. Podaj, Gospodi. Jedni zbjedni prečasi svjeto odukane, vyblahim se mi se beten odnoho, srši to našo hresu, bohovi vidamo. O Lord God, the God, O Lord, O our God, the God of salvation, teach us how we have worthily give, give thanks to you for the benefits you have given and count us to give and continue to give us. Having accepted these gifts, O our God, cleanse us from every impurity of flesh and spirit and teach us to perfect, perfect our sanctification in fear of you, that we, in be, that we, in the witness of a pure conscience, may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ. Having received them worthily, we may have Christ dwelling in our hearts and may become the temple of your Holy Spirit. You are God, let none of us be guilty before these, your awesome and heavenly mysteries. Neither 
be sick in our soul or body because we have unworthily communed. But grant, O Lord, that we may worthily receive a portion of your holy things, even to our final breath, as a provision on the path to eternal life, as an acceptable defense of the fierce and judgment seat of, of your Christ, that we also, together with all the saints who in all things have been well-pleasing to you, may be made partakers of your eternal good things, which you have prepared for us, for those who love you, O Lord. Is for the benas vladeko bez boyasno in the sud no na se meletes preservate de bene basno botia i promovjati. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. May we seem peace be unto all. Be to the Lord. All of in the ship be let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Master, Lord. Father of compassions and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and preserve those who have bowed their heads to you. Withdraw them from every evil deed. Join them to every good work and deem them worthy without condemnation to, to partake of these, your most pure and life-creating mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of your Holy Spirit. Through the grace, mercy, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all-holy, good, life-creating Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Bojo chesta merisha po milimene. Bojo chesta merisha po milimene. Bojo chesta merisha po milimene. Let us be attentive. The holy things for the holy. Warmth of faith, the fullness. 
fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the Him in the highest, praise him, all his angels, praise him, all his hosts. Quali de vos quodas nevers, quali de Jehovah. Him, sun and moon, praise him, you shining stars, praise him, you highest heaven, and you waters above the heavens. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. Praise be fixed the them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your own most pure body, and that this is truly your own precious blood. Therefore I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your most pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies. Neither like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the thief will I confess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be neither to my judgment nor condemnation, but unto the healing of soul and body. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Alleluia. sea, monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy winds fulfilling his command. Valite hospodas neves, valite Jehovah Vishni, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Kings of 
the earth, all people, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens together, old men and children. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. Praise be fixed be upright. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Receive the body of Christ. Praise the which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you, for himself God the Father set his seal. Till all Christ we do to be doing the works of God. Jesus answered them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he said he has sent. Receive the body of Christ, him, what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. We gave them bread from heaven to eat. Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven, for the bread of God 
is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Receive the body of Christ. Taste the fountain of immortality. They said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I'm the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you, have seen me, and yet do not believe. For behold, as touched your lips, your sins of forgiving your iniquities are purged. Alleluia. 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 Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the, the bread of life, your fathers ate the man in the world, and his hand they die. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, no, that a man may eat of it and not die. Food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the truth. Blessed is our God. Zaujaneni posyak jasina viki viki. Let our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you have made us worthy to partake of your holy divine, immortal and life giving. Keep us in your holiness, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us stand upright, having partaken in divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life giving us the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having as little day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves, one another, and all our life unto Christ, our God. We thank you, O Master, lover of mankind, benefactor of our souls, that today you've made us uh, worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish all in your fear, guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers, supplications, and glorious Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, do we send up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now, whenever, and unto the ages of age. Amen. Amen. Yeah, for sport, man.
Hospodovi pomodi mu. Hospodi Hospode, te blahoslovlaješ te, šo tebe blahoslovlaju i osjačuješ te, šo na tebe upovaju spase ljude tvoje, ki blahoslovena sida tvoje, po vnotu v srku tvoje zbereže, osjate te, šo ljubjat krasuj domu tvojo, proslavne i božestveno je tvojeju, celuju i ne ostav nas, Šo upovajemo na tebe, mere svijetovi tvojemu, daruje crkvam tvojim svjašenikam i svim ljudem tvojim, šo vsjake dobre danja i vsjake zbereže dav i vesote i skode vid tebe od sja svitla i tobi slavo podjakuje, poklonjaju vroz svijetovi. Se lajemo od sja i sena i svoto duha, ne ni po sja čas i na veke veke. Amin. The majesty of your kingdom, the majesty of your dispensation of Christ our God, has been fulfilled and perfected as much as it was in our, our power, for we have, have the memorial of your death, we have seen the image of your resurrection, we have been filled with your unending life and have enjoyed the inexhaustible food which is in you to come. We be well pleased and grant us all through the grace of your whole Father and everlasting, your all holy, good, like, and spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blaustloven, Hospod, na vas, jeho blaudat, jeho čolovekot, ljusom zaušen in posjak čas, in na veki veki. Amen. Glory to you, Christ, your God, our hope. Glory to you. Christ, our true God, true God, who rose from the dead through the prayers of His most pure Mother, of our Father, among the saints, based with the great Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, of the Saint Sophronius, Patriarch of Jerusalem, the Venerable Sophronius, recluse of the Kievan Caves, and of all the saints, for as much as He is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Please stand. As this is the Sunday of Orthodoxy, and in many cases, traditionally, we'll have the uh, evening Vesper service where we uh, have the proclamation of the holy icons um, uh, re read aloud in the Vesper service. We have the procession, and we've done it uh, in many years in the past. Um, as uh, but this year um, it took a, a slightly simpler uh, approach. So I, I'm asking you all to continue to stand. And in the back, the la inside page at the back of the bulletin is the synodicon that is red. If you could turn to that page and we will all together read the synodicon of the holy, um, of this, this of Sunday of Orthodoxy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. As the prophets beheld, as the apostles taught, as the church received, as the teachers dogmatized, as the universe agreed, as grace illumined, as the truth was revealed, as falsehood passed away, as wisdom presented, as Christ awarded, thus we declare 
Thus we assert, thus we proclaim, Christ our true God and honor his saints in words, in writings, in thoughts, in sacrifices, in churches, in holy icons. On the one hand, worshiping and reverencing Christ as God and Lord, and on the other hand, honoring and venerating his saints as true servants of the same Lord. This is the faith of the apostles. This is the faith of the fathers. This is the faith of the orthodox. This is the faith which established the universe. Therefore, with bro brotherly love, we praise these preachers of piety for the glory and honor of their own pious struggles for the faith. And we say, eternal be the memory of the champions of orthodoxy, pious emperors, most holy patriarchs, hierarchs, teachers, martyrs, and confessors. Memory eternal, memory eternal, memory eternal. Let us entreat God that we may be instructed and strengthened by the trials and struggles of these saints, which they endured for the faith, even unto death, and by their teachings, entreating them that we may imitate their godly life unto the end. May we, being deemed worthy of ob obtaining our requests through the mercy and grace and the great and first archpriest, Christ our God, through the intercessions of our glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all the divine angels and of all the saints. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. It's important that we, <coughs> as I <coughs> said in, the, in my, my sermon, that the, to recognize the triumph. Many, many throughout the centuries, not just today, not just then, at the, in the 6th, 7th centuries when our Holy Fathers were fighting these, the, the iconoclasts, there's been these teachings, these ideas presented constantly throughout the history of the church. And today, on this first Sunday, as we prepare ourselves for the Holy Resurrection of our Lord in, at the end of Great Lent, we are reminded of the fact that these images of Christ, of saints, are there to remind us of what we can achieve. To show us what the grace of God does. That's what this shows. So we have these saints, these icons around us to show us the way to our Lord. So I thank you all for joining us this morning for this divine liturgy. I pray that you continue to have a blessed, uh, great Lenten period as we move forward uh, into the f coming weeks yet um, of Great Lent. I remind you that um, if you don't have a bulletin, there's some at the back as well in the uh, pamphlet uh, uh, kiosk on the wall. There is a couple, there's copies of the service calendar and as well on the table the uh, wall calendar with the icons on that. You please, that icon, that calendar is open for anybody to take. It was, a, a, again, a donation, covered the cost uh, from Kamloops Funeral Home. So please uh, uh, take those calendars that are there. Um, as a reminder, next Saturday, uh, at the, so this coming Saturday, we have our, uh, another Memorial Divine Liturgy. This will be officially our last Memorial Divine Liturgy here in, Col in Kamloops. Um, so, uh, if you ha didn't bring your memorial books um, last uh, t last weekend, um, we will. Uh, you can bring them, or you can fill out your list for those who are departed, um, and we will commemorate them uh, at that divine liturgy. Um, so please uh, make note of that, and it just as an additional reminder. Divine Liturgy is beginning at 9.30 a.m. as well. Um, our next Sunday Divine Liturgy will be April 7th, Sunday, April 7th. So um, you, 
if you uh, have a make note of make note of that but it is in the bulletins and on the the service calendar in the pamphlet kiosk so please um, make sure you have uh, those that information um, with that uh, I will invite you forward for the veneration of the cross. We do have fellowship lunch downstairs following the veneration of the cross, so please uh, come and join us. All are welcome uh, to, to join us for lunch following. Christos posernas, Christ is in our midst. Oh, one last announcement that I almost forgot. In the bulletin, it's in, it's, it is noted in the bulletin. Next Saturday... So just as we finish liturgy at 12 o'clock noon, our, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada is having its annual general meeting. This is a virtual meeting, the, so held through, uh, through uh, uh, I think it's Google Meets this time again. Um, so if you are wanting to, uh, to attend, participate in this, please let me know. Um, and I will ensure that you get the link information so that you may participate in this, uh, this meeting. This is a, a resolution as it's in, written in the bulletin. It's a resolution from the Sabor in 2022 um, to bring us in line with the government regulations um, that are coming down uh, regarding diff uh, charitable organizations and whatnot that we have to have an annual general meeting, uh, yearly, um, not just our every five year sabor that we have. So it is a just to review financials, approve the bu the budget, and uh, any other brief announcements from our chancellor and metropolitan. So please make note of that and and join if you are able to. Christ is in our midst.